thrilling stuff in Asturias as Gijón hosted Espanol in El Morillon. And it was quite the match here. The fa home fans were treated to in the early going. It was a good chance, and it was a great chance, actually, for Carlos Castro to tuck home the rebound after Pau Lopez couldn't handle the cross that came in from Isma Lopez. And Carlos Castro with his second goal in two matches, and then Asensio on the other end trying to answer back quickly after Gijón went up on the scoreboard. That one from the tight angle. And how about Burgi? Keeps going, keeps going. Burgi keeps going and tucks it home. Got through each and every one of the defenders on the back line for Gijón. And Burgi levels things up late in the first half as things got even more interesting going into the second half. This was Javi Lopez who put a peach of a ball into Gerard Moreno. Moreno needed to be big in the absence of Felipe Caicedo. He was called upon by Constantin Galca. And well, Moreno answered the call for sure. There would be more to hear from him in just a bit. Here was Moreno and he got into the box and he had eyes only for goal. Didn't even need to peek his head up to have a look at that back post. He knew where it was and he puts Espanol up in the 58th minute. What? A finish it was from Moreno. Johnny got to the end line, and this was a great ball put into a dangerous area. Guess who it was again? Carlos Castro to bury to make it a bit interesting there in the 62nd minute. Three to two. Gijon just tightening things up, and they weren't done with their comeback bid. It was a good chance for Sanabria to have one at goal, but Pau Lopez stuck a big hand in there and stopped the equalizer from hitting the back of the net. And then another chance for Sanabria, who flashes it off the goalpost seemingly. Had no choice but to score there, Sanabria, but was unable to do so. The Paraguayan, who has been in such fine goal-scoring form. And then Gijon again. This was a chance off the crossbar from Rashid Ait Atmane. Not much he knew about that, but this was the dagger for Gijón. Marco Asensio gets into the box, and Luis Hernández turns the sword on himself there. As you can see, it's Hernández, the captain, who gets the last touch and sends that ball into the back of the net. And it was 4-2, to two, and at that point, frustration boiled over for Gijón. Nacho Cases, who came on as a substitution, a direct red for a reckless challenge on Marco Asensio. And he was giving his marching orders. As you see there, it was an ugly challenge. Cases knew that he was naughty. And that was it from a thrilling match in Asturias. 4-2, Espanol take it.